Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we got some uh, very good news. I think we probably already knew about this, but um, this is more of like uh, kind of what's going on and what's the update to it all. Um, so it looks like Florida is making a very big move. Um, hopefully a lot of other states can follow through it. We know the Democratic states won't, but that's all right. You just go to a red state and you'll be fine. Um, so we'll go over a few things here. Um, uh, even the, the rule, and uh, we'll kind of see what we'll go over. Well, depending on how big the rule is, we probably most likely won't go through the entire thing. Because normally what happens is that these rules and stuff end up being very, very big. And um, it, it just becomes a, like, you know, a little bit more of a difficult uh, thing to do. Just because the video becomes increasingly long. And uh, most of the time, uh, people will skip out on wanting to um, watch the whole thing. So, um, we will go over a few things here and uh, kind of show exactly what's going on um, and all that great stuff. So, without further ado, let's get straight into the article. Florida creates rule bearing Medicaid from covering sex change hormones and surgeries. Very, very, very nice. The new rule is scheduled to take effect on August 21st. According to rule, uh, according to the rule, Florida's Medicaid program will no longer cover procedures that alter primary or secondary pre-sexual characteristics when being used to treat gender dysphoria. Political reports that Florida's Department of Health is also also, acu also accused the U.S. Department of Health and Human Research Services, the American Academy of Pediatrics, of misleading the public into believing the treatments are safe. Multiple organizations have vowed to try and block the rule in court. Uh, ignoring thousands of public comments and exper expert testimony, Florida's AHCA has finalized a rule that will deny Medicaid coverage for all medically necessary gender affirming care for both youth and adults. This discriminatory and medically unsound rule will take effect on August 21st, 2022, putting a transgender people in jeopardy of losing access to critical gender affirming health care services. Lambetta Legal Southern Legal Council, Florida Health Justice Project, and National Health Law Program said in a joint statement about the rule. The statement continued, AHCA's actions at the behest of Governor DeSantis and his political appointees are morally and legally wrong as well as medically and scientifically unsound. No, they're not. You are scientifically unsound. Uh, this rule represents a dangerous escalation in Governor DeSantis' political zeal to prosecute or execute people in Florida and particularly transgender youth. Uh, Lambda, legal, southern, okay, blah, 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 we know um, all that. Uh, program denounced Florida's cruel effort to strip transgender Floridians or Medicaid of the ability to access essential medical, medically necessary, and often life saving medical care. I would say they're mostly focusing on the children aspect because here's the thing you, uh, the problem is, is that we can't really do much in terms of, uh, uh, if we say when, uh, if we say uh, just children, I would assume they would find a loophole to just uh, uh, they would find a loophole just to do it to children anyways. So there's also that. So uh, I can understand why. But again, this isn't a huge problem because they're trying to focus it in helping the children. You're not helping the children by doing this. Go to the, uh, go to the transition part of Reddit and see the actual mayhem and destruction that has been caused upon upon those people, and you may think otherwise. You're just an evil organizations that are trying to get money from people from transitioning and mutilating their bodies, sterilizing them, and potentially having them commit suicide, which means you would have death on your hands because of doing this. You guys should be, when you guys should be immediately, I would say, sued into oblivion for all the deaths that you would potentially have caused and the lives that you have ruined because of your terrible and evil procedures. And I'm saying evil procedures on children. If the adults want to do it, fine, let them do it. But not to the kids. The organ said that they would defend the rights of transgender people in Florida when whatever forum necessary to protect the rights to, to access health care coverage that is readily available for, to other participants in Florida's Medicaid program. The lives, health, and well-being of transgender Floridians are at stake, and we were stand ready to vindicate their rights. Let me read that in um, evil business language. Um, we will continue to fight for our actual monetary gain because our money that we get from harming and hurting kids and people alike because it's a lot of money and we don't want to lose that revenue. Um, that's essentially what they're uh, saying. They want to act like they care and uh, care about transgender people and all that other stuff, but in reality, they don't give a damn about them. Because in reality, uh, let's go look at the actual statistics here of... Um, 
pretty much saying uh, uh, how much uh, transgender surgery uh, costs. So let's so let's look this up. So transgender surgery reassignment surgeries are expensive. Bottom surgeries can cost about twenty five thousand, and top breast surgery from seven to eight, seven to ten thousand. Facial and body contouring also costly. More employers insurance policies and those sold under the Affordable Care Act now cover at least some gender reassignment uh, stuff. So. Uh, so Bauer and Anderson, a woman who choose the full range of surgical procedures available, would spend seventy-five thousand or more to judge into a male. Switching from male to female might cost in the forty to fifty thousand range. So after we find that, find that out, and you have a multitude of people wanting to do the transgender surgery, you end up finding out that it's actually very lucrative and a uh, very lucrative and financially good to uh, spend that money on to transgender, to have it to do with transgender people. Because if they actually looked any science or any uh, things at all, they would realize the actual amount of harm that this has done. If they actually cared, they would look into the, the, into the Finland and Sweden type of uh, 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 sciences that they have found to where it's proven to be completely false and it harms actual children. Because they know that puberty blockers or those type of puberty blockers they use, they use to sterilize uh, rapists and stuff like that, sex offenders. So they know this is true because they, if they didn't, they would be idiots. They know this is true and they do it anyways. So we know how much transgender surgery actually costs. It's a great financial benefit. And they're being, and they're using, they're being incredibly evil, and just trying to use the transgender people as a as a walking money stone to them. And while, and while at the end of it all, the ch transgender people actually suffer. Some end up ending themselves in Minecraft because of this. So <laughs> I don't want to hear anything from these evil organizations. You are flat out evil. You don't care a damn about people, and all you care about is your money. Go to hell. Earlier this month, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis publicly suspended Hillsborough County State Attorney Andrew Warren for vowing not to enforce any abortion laws or bans on sex change procedures and hormones for minors. Uh, uh, judges in Georgia and West Virginia recently blocked several rules for each state's Medicaid programs. I would 100% agree with these type of things. It's a good thing other states are falling through. I want more states, though, to do it. Because it's hurting kids. If you, if, like I said, if 18-year-olds want to do this, even though I, I highly digress, they don't and get actual help first before I, going through this, uh, which um, some of the USA pediatricians actually uh, the U, uh, agree with me on this. Um, and I'm not saying I'm a doctor or anything because I'm definitely not. But uh, the US pediatricians agree that they there should be, before they even jump into that terrible, unre unreversible surgery, um... That is, even with hormones, is uh, with uh, puberty blockers, uh, which they're lying to people, by the way. It does cause every apple damage to them. Uh, it, it causes more good than, it causes more negative than bad, all right? So, uh, there you have it. And now we'll go over a few of these things here to kind of kind of show. Uh, this is the general Medicaid policy. Um, I don't think it's going to go fully into this, but we'll, we'll see. Um, what kind of what it is? It's rule 59G01.050. Uh, I guess that doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll probably just call them in general making policy because it's just easier to do it. The implement implemented. Um, let's see here. This might click right onto this. Um, so yeah, it, like I said, the, the, to go through all these things would take a lot of time in terms of because there's because you have a lot of these things and some of them can be um, big, but I will go through some of them because. Uh, it's okay to get, to get, uh, kind of get an idea of kind of what the rules are. The Agency of Healthcare Administration is designated as a single state agency authorized to make payments for medical assistance and related services under the title, uh, a title uh, of the Social Security Act. These payments shall be made subject to any limitations or directions provided for the General Appropriations Act. And I apologize, guys. I am not very good with my Roman numerals at all. So uh, I do apologize. Um, I'm not really great for them. Uh, so, uh, if I do not understand the actual Roman numeral, then I digress. I apologize. I, I, I think the max I could go to maybe is like 
it's like 10 and that's about it I don't <laughs> I am not good at them uh, only for service included in the program shall be made only on behalf of eligible in, uh, of eligible individuals it shall be shall be and shall be made only to qualified providers in accordance with federal requirements for title uh, for that the Roman numeral again of the Central uh, Social Security State Act and uh, uh, provisions of the state law. This program of medical assistance is designated to the Medicaid program. The Department of Children and Families is responsible for medical Medicaid eligibility determinations, including but not limited to policy roles in agreement with the Social Security Administration for Medicaid eligibility determinations for some sub supplemental security home rece rec recipients as well as the actual interpretation of eligibility. As a condition of Medicaid eligibility, subject to federal approval, the Agency for Healthcare Administration and Department of Children and Families shall ensure that each re recipient of Medicaid consents to the release of her as of her or his medical records to agency healthcare administration and the medical fraud control unit of their legal affairs. So that's essentially what this is. Um, so uh, this is for all that good stuff. But as we can see, whoa, what am I doing? All right, well. Uh, fucking things up as usual. Uh, always scuffed. Uh, always scuffed. Um, so uh, we also have here. We'll go with the descriptions with the proposed uh, 59G. Um, they're all it looks like they're all 59G. But I, I'll post this in here so you guys can actually look at it. Um, the purpose of the amendment to roll 5950 uh, affordable insurance code is up to eight uh, up to date covered by medical services. Um, the purpose of the amendment to roll 59G. Flood Dimension Code is up to date, covered medical services, general Medicaid policy, and all this stuff. And the rule of the, and down at the very last one, which I won't read this one here, the rule of the 59G, 59, uh, 59G 1.50 is it, uh, 1.050 uh, is to incorporate by reference the Florida Medicaid general medical pay policy, uh, insert bracket word here. The incorporated policy will specify general requirements of the Florida Medicaid program. So it's kind of like the rule, um, but I will be posting all this in here so you guys can actually see. But yeah, I, I completely agree with a lot of this stuff. Um, uh, again, I don't, I don't, I don't mind 18 year olds and adults doing this type of stuff for their own benefit or whatever if they say, if they so seem to do it. I have, like I said, I've been saying it over and over again. I have a problem when it goes to kids. Kids do not deserve to be mutilated, have lies stripped stri uh, stripped from them with lies because they want because they want to ruin people's lives. Um, so uh, I I don't agree with the whole kids thing. If they if it was anything higher than that, like adults, I am against it as well. Um, however, I would the only reason why I would be against the adult thing would be because. Um, I would like them to at least get type of some psychological work done, uh, treatments and all this other stuff before they can, you know, really delve into this type of stuff. And uh, that would be great. Um, but I, as I get it, as adults, you can do whatever you want, but don't involve your don't involve kids into your into your uh, mayhem because that's just destructive, evil, and I don't care about you. And by the way, uh, fuck. The medical industry right now, I really don't like it. Only a few play, so only a few of them are actually decent. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.